Welcome to Classified, where we take your favorite fandoms and transport them into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. In this series, we discuss D&D classes and where your favorite characters fit in. I'm Frey. I'm Shadu. This week, we are tackling Doctor Who, specifically the main characters from the 10th Doctor. Yes, I'm speaking Tenet here, people. Ooh. David Tenet's run. Possible spoilers ahead, but you've had time. So, let's get into it. Yeah, let's start this off. Um, The first one we have is Rose. I said Warlock. Okay, then. I said... um, I said Fey Wanderer Ranger. Oh, okay. All right. All right, so then next is Martha. Okay. Uh, I said she is an enchantment wizard. Okay. (laughs) I said cleric. Okay. The next one is Donnet. Man, Tenet got around. (laughs) Three female companions. Um, Granted, most of the Doctor's companions in the more recent series have been women. That is true. So, it's not that surprising. Usually the men are like secondary companions. Or like companions they, like, you know, picked up along the way. For Donna, I said bard. I said inquisitive rogue. I'm I don't know about that. <laughs> but okay. Uh, next we have Mickey. I said he is a devotion paladin. Alright. Um Okay. I said fighter. Oh, okay. Well I feel I feel fighter. Yeah. I feel well, it, you know. You feel, feel, feel it. The fighter. Feel the spirit of the fighter. All right. Jack Harkness. Oh my god. Captain Jack Harkness. Uh, I said Bard. I said Eloquence Bard. So, <laughs> we, yeah. We both said Bard. It's yeah, we bard. said Bard. <laughs> All right. All right. Then Wilfred Mott, who I adore. I said he is a Battlemaster fighter. Okay. I don't need, I'm not. We'll go into it later. <laughs> okay. Uh, I said Paladin. Mm. All so. right. Okay. <laughs> Again, we'll get into it later. <laughs> and sweat. then the last one is finally the one, the only, the tenth incarnation of the Doctor, played by David Tennant. Oh, the tenth Doctor. I said he's a ranger. I said he's a lore bard. <laughs> okay. We we're pretty far we're away some on some of these. Yeah, there, we, we only, have some discussions to have here. We only got one. <laughs> we only got one. Was, this is the same, and it's yeah. the obvious one. So. Yeah, absolutely. So. Okay, so. so let's get into this. We're doing the master list. The allons list. Yes, the allons list for Tenet. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to go down the list like we did with our separate lists. And, but we're going to make our best argument for why we think it should be the class that we picked and i'll go first Uh, first one is rose and i picked warlock Uh, and the reason was because she became one with the tardis and then basically she makes she's making a deal with an extra planar being and then she is actually forever changed after her experience with the doctor and being in the tardis i i didn't remember that at all All right, so we watched the scene. <laughs> yeah, we watched the scene, uh, and it's not David Tennant. It's not. It's Chris Eggleston. I don't think that counts. I don't think it <laughs> as counts a warlock either. Um, um, because she looked into it. She looked into the time vortex. Yeah, I think that's more. You're not necessarily making a deal with anything. Plus, the TARDIS. Well, they linked. They linked, but I don't. I'd almost think that's more sorcerer than warlock, in a way. I mean, you know, I picked it. I'm going to stay with All it. Right. I know so, that I think maybe by you'll probably win this one by default, but... The reason I said Fae Wanderer Ranger uh, was basically she's bringing positivity and joy to, to all who encounter her. Willis fits the stereotype of a Fae Wanderer Ranger. Uh, she is also wise and willing to fight if need be. So it was more about the bring positivity and joy, and she's very upbeat and all of that. In most circumstances, there are some like <laughs> yeah, you know, merging with the soul of the TARDIS, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so I was saying she's very positive and upbeat and all of that. 
So mm -hmm. I would say if we're gonna really latch onto the whole merging with the TARDIS thing, yeah. not really merging, like looking into it, I would say that's more sorcery. No, I mean, I feel like, because in Tenet's run, she was she was more a ranger. Because she was really, like, she had experience by then. She had been on some adventures. And okay. she was staying. At first, I think she was staying just to make sure he was okay. And then she stayed because they started feeling feelings for each other. Feeling feelings. Yeah. Feeling so feelings. I think that could be it. I see a little chaotic, chaoticness in her. And I yeah. also, I'm like, they had to be separated. Like, because their power together was too great or something. Like, you know, so right. I could see that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. okay with okay. Fey Wandering Ranger. Yeah. I think the Fey Wander also captures the whole, like, between planes and things, too. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, that could That's be more Horizon Walker, but it's yeah. still definitely between planes. And, yeah. And next up is Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. Ooh. Who... Uh, is his companion, but is also integral later. And also the mother to Superman and Batman. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> oh. Uh, Martha. We're talking about Martha, right? <laughs> We're talking a very different Martha. Uh, I said Enchantment Wizard. So, uh, an intelligent and accepting doctor, not that kind of doctor, uh, a medical doctor, uh, Martha can find common ground between even the most mortal of enemies, but is a formidable fighter too. So, I could have said Bard, I suppose, for kind of the peacefulness and the, you know, hey, I'm trying to find common ground. I'm trying to kind of keep you guys from fighting each other. They're about enchantment. They're about charming. They're about trying to manipulate people, but, like, for positive reasons more than anything else. So, yeah. So, I'm the So. Cool. What do you go for? I mean, I already know what you go for. Well, I said cleric. <laughs> Because, I, well, I said she heals and takes care of the doctor even when his memory is, like, he erases his memory. Like, that yeah. was the thing that I felt like I learned the most about Martha was that, like, two-part episode that mm -hmm. they had, like, the two-part, where they went back in, I don't want to say Victorian times, mm -hmm. something like that, or Edwardian and times. wasn't he, like, a teacher Yeah, something? and he was a teacher, he but a he, teacher, had, and then... he had hid himself by not remembering right. so that they're... Uh, enemies couldn't track him. Right. And so she had to be the brave one. She had to be yeah. the one that knew everything and had to make sure he didn't remember and knew right. about the pocket watch and all that. So to me, that's what it was. She would, I felt like she was more of his caretaker. Like Rose was his girlfriend. Right. Just saying that. Yeah. And then Martha was his caretaker and Donna was his best friend. Um, no, no uh... I mean, I can see where you're coming from. And I see, like, I understand you saying, like, oh, but she's, you know, not really a cleric. And, and I mean, yeah, I can see that. She does have depths. There's so much more yeah. that she does that. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm okay with going with Enchantment Wizard. Okay. I just it doesn't like... have to be Enchantment either. It could be something different, Wizard. Is there one that's, like, more focused on healing? Abjuration is protection. That's protection magic. Okay, well, yeah, let's do that. So, okay, so Abjuration Wizard. All right, and now we come to my favorite companion <laughs> of this doctor. We have not gotten to mine yet, yeah. but... And it is a Donna. Ooh, Donna um, Noble. Yeah, Donna Noble. I love Donna. Who is also coming back fairly soon. Yeah. Along with David Tennant's Tenth Tenet. Doctor. Yeah, that's so. why we decided to do the Tenth Doctor. Yeah, because it's like, hey, we're it's like, coming hey, up. Hey, so. we're gonna do some yeah. Doctor Who. And, and again, like, he had great companions, and yeah. he is my second favorite Doctor. Uh, you get no points for guessing who's my favorite. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, with Donna, I went with Bard, um, and the reason I went with Bard. Not because, like, she's cheeky. She is <laughs> extremely cheeky. But um, that she's a storyteller at heart. Like, the episode where they go to the library, that, like, world that's the library, it was curious. And uh, and so I thought that's why. And then that she's, she's looking for love, but it, it really isn't going well. 
she's really making like bad choices and so that's, that, is, that is a very barred thing I yeah think. so i, I was say, like but... you know when she first meets the doctor it's like some sort of spider thing is trying to like, right and she's about to get married and her. yeah i mean <laughs> it's the whole thing so a lot and it's, it's very D, &D but yeah. you know it's yeah i <laughs> Very different direction. I guess it's not that different. I went with Inquisitive Rogue. Um, so I picked up on she's clever and witty and very fiery, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. But she's really compassionate too, which I guess isn't as, as rogue. But definitely with the whole Inquisitive. She's investigative. She wants to find knowledge. She wants to find secrets to things. And that's very Inquisitive Rogue to me. And yeah, they're more investigators. They're more like detectives or whatever. But I think she is too. And she uses that knowledge and kind of her her appetite for knowledge to investigate things and to be able to to deduce things easily. Isn't there so, like a lore bard though? There is a lore bard. There's a lore bard. And I was, what is the other one? There was some, as a cleric subclass too, but I'm like cleric. There is a lore bard. And I immediately thought, oh, lore bard. Uh, I could see lore bard. Bard. I don't know if she's a bard. I think she is because there are a lot of times in that where people are attracted to her. Like they, you know, yeah. she's okay. like a thing yeah. and she's just like, why are you attracted to me? Get away from me. You know, like, <laughs> and so she's awkward, but I do think she's, and, and bards, it's more about the artisan of it. And I feel like that's They're, it. Bards she's, are artists. Yeah. yeah. And I think her art is her mind. And she, like she wants to know that, so that's why I'm like I think okay. like a lore bard. All right. Well, I was thinking when you were saying, oh yeah, like a lore bard. Mm -hmm. So okay. I brought the receipt. I'm good with that. Lore bard, that works. All right. So next we go to Mickey. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. <laughs> 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 it's Mickey. No. Uh, <laughs> no. I said he is a devotion paladin. I may be pulling a rampart here, but... Yeah, we're gonna... you might be. So, I'm saying he is very loyal, determined, and insightful, with his care for others sometimes being to his own detriment. While not explicitly religious, his devotion is palpable and echoes the honor-bound virtues of a holy warrior. Hmm. So, yeah. Uh, he's not religious, necessarily, and I know that I usually kind of specific about that i couldn't think of anything else that would scream lawful good because he is yeah well so i said fighter and i said at first he embodies the fighter spirit and by the time he parts ways with the doctor he's a proper fighter like he's proper i don't i and yeah fit. <laughs> I see it. Like, I see it. I get it. Well, I mean, I'm talking about, like, when, like, the whole unit thing. Yeah. But, no, like, I him mean, and Martha. And yeah. Her. Yeah. Like. Yeah. That's really the last time we see him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. And he's, like, a, he's a badass in that. He's badass. Yeah. So. He is. But. <sighs> yeah. I don't want to cave again here, but I, <laughs> I feel like. So. Okay. Okay, we can do fighter. Uh, specific subclass? I don't really know a lot of the fighter subclasses. So you're saying fighter more because he's... It's that just... fighting spirit, and he's like, you know, just really like a traditional, like, stereotypical... I would say stereotypical fighter. So that'd be so. champion. Champion. Okay. Oh, yeah. Actually, that does make a lot of sense. Our next one is... Captain Jack Harkness. Ooh. So funny story. I kissed a guy that kissed him. So I said bard. Yep. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We both said bard. We this both is, said bard. This is going to be like a super easy one. Yeah. But I said he's like the textbook definition of space bard. Like space he's bard. like bard in space. space bard. Uh, everything about him whistles bard. Bard. Instead of the face of Bo, he should be this the face, face of, of bard. bard. Okay, so I also said bard. I put a subclass on it. I said eloquence bard. Um, I, do you really need an explanation for this? Yeah. 
he's charming, horny, and promiscuous while also being highly intelligent and resourceful. Which is yeah. why when eloquence, I would say, yeah, there's kind of an eloquence, there's a, you know, sophistication to the language that he there's also presents like a to the populace. slipperiness of him. And there is a slipperiness too, which is definitely yeah. very eloquence. He's saying one thing while doing something else. Oh yeah, no, I think eloquence. Like when you Good. said eloquence, I saw that. I was like, oh yeah, no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Good. All right, so we get to, besides Jack, because I really do love Jack, but uh, probably my favorite companion besides Jack is Wilfred Mott. Uh, I said he was a battle master fighter. Of the of the Mott's applesauce? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> uh, I said he is a positive and kind person. Uh, Wilf served in World War II without killing anyone. But was shown to be proficient with weaponry of all kinds. So that's kind of where I went with Battlemaster. So, yeah. um, I said Paladin. Uh, okay, then? Here's, here's my... All right. Gonna, all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hold I, on. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. I said he receives a higher calling through knowing the doctor and takes care of his granddaughter. So he is given a mission by the doctor... To watch her so that she won't remember him. Like, she won't go back. Like, her curiosity won't come back to remember him. Right. And so I feel like he got a mission from a higher being, a doctor, to uh, to do that. So that's why I went with Paladin. Okay. I. Plus, he's just a really good guy. <laughs> He is, and that's kind of what I picked up on too. But I went with more of the proficiency. You went with more of the personality. Yeah. <sighs> Which is weird because usually it's the opposite. <laughs> usually it's the opposite. Yeah. Well, his personality is very positive and kind, but I didn't want to be paladin because I didn't see the like kind of the the devotion. I mean, I like there's devotion in certain places. I didn't really. I he I would say he's <sighs> the doctor's biggest fan. I'm okay I get with it. Battle Master Fighter. Okay. I mean, I, you know, because I know that he did serve in World War II, and he, you know, I, I just, and paladins tend to be like, I'm on a holy mission and I'm going to kill for that. So I don't know if paladin would be correct. If yeah. I, in the fighter category, they can choose to fight or not. And I think, well, whereas the paladin, if they're on a holy mission, they don't back down. I have an alternate proposal. Okay. Monk. Oh, I like it. Monk. Because yeah, he can choose yeah, yeah. to fight if he wants to. He's still devoted. He's... Right. Yeah, I think Monk. I think... I think we can say Way of the Open Hand. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Because that seems... Yeah. Yeah. Because he knows how to fight. He just chooses not to. So, for our finale... Finale. finale we have the Doctor. The Doctor. The Doctor who? Specifically, the Tenth One. The, the Tenth, tenth one. Generation. Well... The... The David Tennant Doctor. The, it's the David Tennant But it, he's considered the 10th He's doctor. considered the 10th generation. We ignore the War Doctor, so. Yes. I said Ranger because he takes on everyone by himself. It's like he takes on the war by himself. Any wars. He doesn't want to really get anyone else involved and gets a little cranky when other people get involved, to be honest. Uh, and he's pretty righteous in, in what he's doing. So I almost went paladin, but I was like, nah, he's not really paladin. Because he's not lawful. He's really not. No. He has his own set of values and morals and... It, He's super chaotic, and I love him, and it's delicious. But, um, you know, he prefers to be alone, but he really shouldn't be. And that we learn that more in David Tennant's run, I think, we than we do in any of the others. We explore how the Doctor is not mentally well. <laughs> and, like, the yeah. trauma that he's experienced. And so, and then how it, it is that the companions aren't what he chooses. It's more like he needs it. He has to be, see humanity and see uh, creatures aren't necessarily as bulletproof as he is. So I went with Lore Bard. For a lot of the same reasons, actually. Uh, I said he's cheerful, charismatic, hyperactive, and facetious. Uh, the Ten Doctor seeks to have fun wherever he goes, but is still haunted by the scars of war and his many hard choices throughout his life. 
So, with, I went with Bard because he kind of masks his trauma through being hyperactive and being charismatic and cheerful and all of that, too. Mm -hmm. And it's very much like a bard. He's not really that horny, but again, <laughs> it's more its more a general bard without, His you know. kink is to not give in to his <laughs> 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 Anyway, he, I mean, look, he does have a lot of female companions, so... No, There's you something. know what? Since he doesn't <laughs> give in to his urges, instead of that, how about this? Why don't we make him a monk, too? We could do a different type of monk. Because he doesn't. He, he I, Another aspect, especially of David Tennant's, is that he um, keeps himself from, ha like, from really enjoying everything. Okay. I'm okay with monk. What do you think subclass-wise? We have deliberated. And so we are going to, I think, so we're going with Monk, right? Yeah, we're making an executive decision. We're making an executive decision about Monk. Yeah. However, the subclass we went with was... Drunken Master. Way of the Drunken Master. <laughs> Explain. <laughs> well, I, because he kind of, he's unexpected. So, and, drunk, and the Drunken Master, like... Uh, way of the drunken master that's unexpected too you use these like unexpected movements to really like put your opponent off balance and the and especially david Tennant, he's really good at that and yeah. and uh yeah so I, he's kind of bumbling a little and that's kind of yeah. how i, see I would say resourceful master. too yeah like so. he's bumbling but he appears bumbling but he's not right but he's not he's well, all yeah. putting on a face and that definitely goes with the theme of kind of putting on a facade yeah mm -hmm. to okay yeah. yeah i mean i mean i agree with it so <laughs> yeah so yeah we're going with drunken master monk with it so <laughs> yeah so yeah we're going with drunken master monk i never thought we'd do <laughs> absolutely okay but i love it all right so what do we have so our complete allons list here is rose as a fey wanderer ranger uh, Martha as an abjuration wizard, Donna as a lore bard, Mickey as a champion fighter, Jack Narcus as an eloquent bard, Wilfred Mott as a way of the open hand monk, and the Doctor as a drunken master monk. I think it's interesting that Wilfred Mott and the Doctor both kind of wound up. They being are monks. similar kinds of characters. They really are. I mean, Wilfred has some trauma from war too yeah they both have they a lot very much bond and they mm -hmm. do bond quite heavily too yeah. so yeah it makes sense it's a lot of mutual respect there too yeah I, I it's interesting about doing this that we do bring out these kind of like oh these characters are much more similar you wouldn't normally think about that yeah you don't think too. Like, you, you don't think about the doctor being similar so similar to humans and then to right. have a human that he Who's is so, so fond of be right. very similar to him and they have a lot in common yeah. it's just it's cool well thank you guys so much for joining us um, yes let's put some oh goodness Ooh. Uh, i don't think there's tardises i was about to say there may be a uh like a phone box or something mm. uh, um how about a screwdriver Okay, let's put, put a screwdriver. Put, put screwdrivers in the comments. Or, like, Ooh. how about blue hearts? Ooh, screwdrivers screwdriver or blue, blue hearts. hearts. Or both. There you go. Yeah. If you're feeling inclined. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, I have been Shadu. And I've been Fray Girl. And we will see you next time on... Classified! Classified.